Welcome to Dripped on the Road, a traveling artist residency program based out of an RV. I'm on the road right now with six different people, and I can't really say that I've had a moment of wanting to get away from everyone. There's a certain level of comfort, I think, and discomfort. I think a lot of bonding can come from discomfort, some unexpected situation, something going wrong, and then emotionally the comfort kind of rushes in. This is our first project. It's our pilot project. We are going actually down from New York City all the way down to Miami for the month of November, stopping in several different cities to not only paint murals, but we're also going to be interacting with the communities there, doing some artist talks, and we'll also be stopping at, at some state parks to do some works on paper so that we can have an exhibition at the end of the program in Miami during Art Basel. Street art is important because it brings art directly to the populace. It doesn't require you to go to the first Friday when the museum is free. It doesn't require you to go into a very closed off space such as a gallery, which can feel very impersonal. It's in your face, it's there, and you have no choice whether to see it or not. You like it or you don't, and you keep walking. That's the beauty of street art. I think loneliness is something all artists have to learn to deal with since for most of us making art requires a certain amount of solitude in order to get things done. And for most of us getting things done is what makes us feel good. So without that solitude, it's pretty difficult to be the kind of artist you want to be. I found myself becoming extremely vulnerable on this trip. And I think I saw that happening to everybody. But this trip and this experience and the proximity to people and continuous new experience has forced a vulnerability upon everyone and in a really positive way that has caused them to open and bond and make better artwork, form relationships that influence the artwork. I think it's like really one of the themes of the trip and I think that the lesson is that people should not be embarrassed ever to be as vulnerable as possible because vulnerability is essentially honesty and I think um, positive things come from that. changing the notion of what a residency is. I love the idea that every single thing, every single moment, every single song is feeding you. So what's in front of you are decisions. I think this, this journey is gonna show you that there are things that you might have drawn lines in between or ways of thinking. And uh, to me, that's the most exciting thing about the end that I'm looking forward to. I mean, just seeing how this venture infects every single one of you. So the purpose of this trip, you know, what one of the major aspects of it aside from making art is making art on the road and really throwing people into just quickly experiencing all these different places and all these different people. And there was really a, a thoughtful selection process in choosing each city because they offered different experiences for the artists to influence their work. We started our tour in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. You know, I have history here as, as being a student at Lehigh University, but Beyond that, Bethlehem and the Lehigh Valley are a really interesting arts community. It's smaller, there's a feeling of a communal engagement here, and they really care about their history. I think it was a cool first place to start because it's still a big exposure to the arts, but it's getting away from our comfort zone, which is a huge part of this trip. We decided that part of the program should be um, that we spend some time away from the cities, away from all of the, you know, the commotion and all this stuff, all the noise, um, and really focus a little bit in the woods um, to be able to do some personal work so that we can show all of this work in Miami. Doing this kind of stuff out here in the woods where you don't have any distractions, it's really personal work. Um, you get to speak with all of the artists and kind of vibe off each other and really create some, some unique work. One of the things that nobody tells you in art school, no matter what level, that I think is so important and so relevant to what you guys are doing is that everything you make that's honestly and truthfully who you are, no matter how fucking weird it is, right? Beyond the skill, beyond how you use the material, beyond its transformative power for you, 
everything every artist makes, the most important thing about that is that it's permission for other artists coming up. So whenever you feel bad about what you're doing and you're not sure it has meaning, do it anyways. Because there, I promise you, there's somebody being just born, just conceived, who's coming along, has never seen a fucking drawing like Grace's, and they're gonna walk in somewhere or find it somewhere, and they're gonna go, are you fucking kidding me? I can do this? And there's no shrink in the world that you can pay enough money to make that person feel good until they see that drawing. Would you say that you wear this often, all the time, or never? Um, the compass? I wear it often, on the trip. All the time, actually, on the trip. <laughs> you straight look like a crazy old man <laughs> you're doing that in the robe. Tell me about your robe. Uh, well, this robe I got in Virginia for 1992, which I think is the strangest price I've ever paid for anything. But it was more than worth its value. It makes me feel nice. It just enhances my captain vibe on the trip, which has been huge in motivating people. So I'm just happy to be here and be wearing it. But I've been pairing it with my sweatshirt that is also camouflage. And when I wear both of them, uh, nobody knows where I am. And it's given me some solitude. So that's been nice. Yeah, you know, you get what you pay for. So I'll see you babies later. <laughs>